town was founded in 1887. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a railroad town. Uh, uh, a fellow by the name of John G. Landrum um, owned some property up here. The railroad was wanting to build a, a rail line up this way to, to, uh, to get to Asheville, North Carolina. And this is actually the second dairy route. The, 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 the first choice was going up Highway 9 up through Lake Lure and Bat Cave. But uh, they were having a problem with the property owners over in that uh, region not wanting the railroad to come through their property. And so they chose this route. And so John G. Landrum was the fellow who donated the property to the railroad. I came to Landrum and went to work in the banking business January the 3rd, 1947. I came directly from overseas from World War II and uh, got a good job in the banking field and stayed there. I guess the most important thing is knowing everybody that you're around. I used to know everybody in the area and the fathers and uh, wives and children. The friendliness in all the people here and they seem to um, assist each other in the case of sorrow and things like that. Several things are unique about Landrum. Uh, Landrum is, is blessed to be in a very beautiful part of the country uh, where we've got the mountains in our backyard. We're three and a half to four hours from the beach. Uh, so we're, topographically, we're very well blessed. Uh, unique feature about Landrum is really we're in the middle of a triangle that you could really paint between Nashville, North Carolina, uh, in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and Greenville, South Carolina, all three of those are, are fairly well-developed economic areas, uh, and, and so we don't have to have a huge economic presence here. We're what we call a bedroom community. A lot of folks work in other places, as I do. Uh, and I guess the third thing that, that's really unique about Landrum is its people. Uh, very proud, uh, hard-working, good ethics. Uh, just uh, the people in Landrum really make the town.